So hey everybody, it's TR here and uh, welcome to Redfish Lake. So hey everybody and welcome to the Campground Tour Tuesday. And uh, today we're going to be visiting the uh, Redfish Lake area campgrounds. I've been staying in the Glacier View campground for the last three days. It's uh, really nice and uh, accommodates large RVs really easily. That can't be said for all the campgrounds, but we'll take a real quick tour here and I'll kind of drive you around through most of the campgrounds that at least circle the lake and we'll take and let you see what's uh, going on there. Amazing place to stay, really hard to get into in the summer. Highly recommend reservations if you're going to come in the summer. I'm in the shoulder season. Uh, this is the last week that the campground is actually going to be open. They close September 17th and today is the uh, 13th, yeah. So the campgrounds will close on Sunday uh, for the year and then I believe they reopen around May 5th. So uh, that's something to keep in mind. But reservations again are highly recommended because it's a very popular place. I'm sitting on the lake right now and it's an amazing place. I have been coming here for a very, very long time and it's probably one of my favorite places uh, in all of Idaho. But I guess when you're raised somewhere and your family is an outdoorsy type of family with camping and uh, fishing and all that in mind all the time, then you get out to see a lot of these uh, nice places like this. And at one time or another, over the 50 years I've been coming here, I've probably stayed in every campground at least once, or maybe three or four or five times. I know I've been at Glacier View where we're staying now uh, several times. But enough of my chatter, let's get on with the tour. This is the Redfish Lake Area Campground. So this is the Glacier View Campground. It's one of seven campgrounds here at Redfish Lake. It's named the Glacier View because it has a beautiful view of the glacier on Mount Hayburn here, there on the backside of Redfish Lake. As I mentioned, there are seven campgrounds here. There are five that circle Redfish Lake, and then there are two that are located at Little Redfish Lake which is just about a half to three quarters of a mile off the main highway on the road in. Since there are so many campgrounds, I'm going to uh, make this four episodes and we'll cover each of the campgrounds with the exception of one as it was closed. So in this episode, we're going to visit the Glacier View Campground that we're driving through now. And then we're also gonna stop off at the North Beach Picnic Area, which is a beautiful little picnic area, day use area type of a place that's right on Redfish Lake and uh, easily accessible from all of the campgrounds, really. So right now we're driving through the A-Loop, which has sites one through 26 in it. The sites are pretty much a mixed bag of all back-end sites with no hookups. This is a primitive campground, if you will, except all the roads are paved, which is kind of a conundrum, but this is an old camp that's been here since the 30s. Uh, I believe the CCC built all these campgrounds and most of Redfish Lake Lodge. Uh, Redfish Lake Lodge is privately held, and operated, but uh, the rest of this is all in the Sawtooth National Recreation Area. So this is Loop B. It's pretty much the same as Loop A with a mix of back-end sites, some dedicated tent sites, uh, and uh, varying lengths. So again, this recreation area is highly used during the summer. I highly recommend that you go over to recreation.gov. Just search for Redfish Lake and you'll find the campgrounds listed for Redfish Lake and uh, recommendation is to make your reservations early because uh, peak season, the uh, campgrounds up here fill up really fast. There is a dump station on the road into the camp and uh, it costs five dollars to use, which is a pretty good deal really. So we're here pretty late in the year. Uh, this is around the 13th of September. And as you can see, most of the sites are empty because really after Labor Day, I think the traffic falls off enough that they turn it over to first come, first serve. So if you're here during the slack period, there's usually no problem getting a campsite. In fact, you could have come anytime and found an available campsite at this campground. So here we are in Loop C. You can see this loop's pretty empty again, just like the other two loops have been. So 
So we'll uh, take a quick pause here at uh, my RV Rusty and I'll kind of let you see a typical campsite. You'll see I even have a tent pad, a picnic table, and a grill, and a fire ring. So pretty much everything you could possibly want uh, for uh, a comfortable stay here at Redfish Lake. I guess one of the pluses is there are amazing views everywhere. The camps are operated by a contractor, but the campground hosts that I spoke to, they were super nice people. And uh, it was really easy. I just went down there and paid my fees to them. It was $20 a night to stay in the campground. I noticed they had firewood for sale, but that was pretty expensive, I thought, at $7 a bundle. If you like what you're seeing be sure you give me that thumbs up and then also subscribe and if you really like what you're seeing and you want your friends to see it be sure and share uh, that's really cool too so this is going to be a semi-regular feature campground tour tuesday uh, i will be from now on publishing uh, at least something every tuesday uh, i've been uh, quite a while accumulating video and uh, trying to get it ready for you so i got a lot of stuff ready to get up and get going now and i uh, should be able to uh, publish more regularly so until we get together again for another Campground Tour Tuesday, peace.